Hi, it's Corey from Laboratory and I'm here today to tell you how to set up an auto bed levelling sensor on a TL4100 Roystock Delta printer from JCAR. Now this is part one of the guide which I'll go through how we set up the hardware, so how we ran the wires and what we did to connect it. Uh, we're using currently an inductive sensor, a capacitive sensor is wired differently which I'll go through later. So this is our TL4100 from JCAR and you can see the sensor sitting right there. Now the way we've mounted it, it's pretty crude. All we've done is basically cut a piece of metal, which was just a scrap we found lying around, cut it nice and neat and drilled a couple of holes in which perfectly line up, if you can see, with the screws that are attached to the arms. So if we go underneath, you'll probably have to see the plate where it sits with the nuts and bolts. Now we've run the wires all the way up following this group here. And then it branches off following the main group and goes down I haven't tied it in yet, ran out of cable ties and just being a bit lazy to go to the van and get some more. But it will eventually be cable tied in and go in with the other wires into the bottom of the Adreno board. Now coming through the hole, you'll see I've got heat shrink over the wires. This here is just a join, but the heat shrink on this side actually has the 5K and 10K resistor in it, which I'll explain how to put in in the following diagram. How I connected it up is V in, going into 12 volts, out, going into a 10K resistor, then going into the Z min, ground goes all the way into ground, and a bridging resistor in between Z min and ground, which was the 5K resistor. To test this is working, power on the unit and place a metal object below the sensor, causing it to trigger. If the red light on the sensor is on, you have triggered the unit. I placed a multimeter between the Z min and the ground, you should read a voltage reading of between 3 and 6 volts. I personally read a voltage reading of 4.2, which is perfectly fine. Now after the heat shrink, I've got the 12 volt and the ground going into the power supply terminal on the Arduino board, joining in from the wires coming from the actual power supply unit. And then I've got the signal wire, which I've used the green earth wire, which is a bit naughty, but that's all I had. And that's going into the Z min signal side of the terminal block. Now to connect that, all I've used is a JST pin, soldered that on and wrapped a bit of heat shrink around it as I didn't have any JST three-way connectors and it seems to work fine. So that's how I wired up our TL4100 JCAR Rostock Delta printer with the sensor for auto bed leveling. The difference between the orange tip sensor and the blue tip sensor, which is the one I've used, the induction sensor. The orange capacitive sensor is a 5 volt sensor and can be plugged directly into the Arduino board on the Z. The blue inductive sensor that we've used needs 12 volts to be powered, but puts out a 5 volt trigger into the Arduino board. This is why we use the resistors to reduce the voltage. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Um, and check out part two of this video, which I'll have up in the next few days on how to program the software side of the TL4100 printer for auto bed leveling.